welcome back to the every choice youtube channel in today's class we'll be learning how to make this beautiful teardrop yoke blouse so we used a lace fabric and a tire fabric for this and it's a very simple tutorial if this is something you would like to learn kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you okay so this is the blouse that we are making and it has few modifications that we're going to be doing to this so it has a yoke and then this teardrop design that we have here with a cara coming from the bustier area all the way to the neckline so we're going to be modifying our basic bodies to form exactly what we have here so to do this i've already drafted my bodies here and then i have my armhole presses that bustier that's drafted on it so i have a tutorial on how i achieved this already on the channel a tutorial on how to you can get something like exactly like this that we have here on the channel so i don't want this to be too long that was why i just drafted this off camera so now we're going to be modifying this to get what we have there on the picture and to do this the first modification i'm going to be doing is going to be on the neckline so for the neckline i have my regular neckline of three inches by three inches but in this case you can see clearly that the neckline is a bit wide compared to what i have on the paper so the first thing i'm going to do now is to increase the width of this neckline by remember i have three inches here so i can make it four inches or four and a half inches depending on what i want so if i want to make this fan half inches i'm increasing my natural neckline width by one and a half and then i'll have my fan half inches there i can maintain the three inches that i have here also or i can just make this three and a half inches and then after that now i'll take my curve driller and then draw out my new neckline Okay, so this is going to be my new neckline. So if you look at the details that we have on this pattern, it's not the same. Okay, what I mean by not being the same is what we have on the right of our front bodies is not exactly what we have on the left. So because of that, I'm going to be tracing out exactly. You can see that my fold, my paper is folded into two before I drafted it so that I can have my full basic bodies. So now what I have here, I'm going to be tracing it using my tracing wheel and then I'll write, I'll draw it out on this other side so that I can have exactly what I have here on this side also so that we can continue drafting. Okay, so I've gone ahead to draw out exactly what I have here on the other side of my center front and then we can see the full bodies that I have here. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to shade out my dart line so that we'll know where the dart are. This is my bust dart and this is my waist and under bust dart, okay? So I'm going to shade out the dart and then cut out exactly what I need from this pattern so that I'll have a smaller paper to work with okay so after cutting out her that this next thing now is to start drafting this pattern so the first one i'm going to be drafting is this here is this my yoke i'm going to shape out my yoke before i start my design on it so it is very important that you work with a princess that because of the designs that you want to do on this part because a ham hole princess that just go through your ham hole it doesn't really interfere with this part of your bodies if you're using a straight that which is going through your shoulder it's giving you lots of issues with your dart and drawing your design so that is why i highly recommend that you work with a ham hole princess that if you're working with this type of design so the first thing i'm going to do now you can see that like i said the the designs are not symmetrical they are not the same on both sides so i'm going to take my ruler now and then measure my tape measure and then measure out like half an inch for this side okay you can see that the yoke for the first side which is this comes from the arm open says that area all the way to the center front and then the other one comes from the center front here all the way to the shoulder so i'm going to draw what i have there now on my pattern and to do this because i'm still going to be joining this 
part this remember this is my center front this is my center front because i'm going to be joining my side front and my center front together i'm not going to be joining this pattern in exactly this armhole line so i'll go up by half an inch or one inch which i think half an inch is fine for me which is here and then from there i'll measure the neck depth that is how deep i want this neckline to be remember we already went down by three and a half inches on our neckline okay which is here so i'm placing it on the three and a half inches mark remember i had three inches by three inches for my actual neckline then i read increase the width of the neckline by one and a half and made it four and a half and then i increase the depth by half an inch to make it three and a half so i'm just placing my tape measure on the three and a half inches where my depth where the depth of my neckline stops and then i'm going to decide how deep i want this neckline to be so you can make it eight inches nine inches ten inches but you have to be mindful because the la the yoke is going to be a lace and if the yoke is too deep it's going to be exposing the bust so if you don't want that you just take that into consideration when you're choosing the depth of your neckline so for me i want it a bit deep so i'm just going to be going with a depth of nine and a half inches so once i have that nine and a half inches depth i'm going to take my curve driller and connect from that nine and a half inches mark all the way to the mark that i have there so using my curve driller now i'm going to look for a nice curve and then i'm going to connect it so the first side of my yoke is done okay so for the other side now i'm going to go over to my shoulder and then we can see that the we just have the tip of the ankara on the shoulder so here i'm just going inwards from the from the tip of my shoulder here i'm going inwards by around one inch you can do one and a half depending on how wide you want this part to be so i'm just going inwards by one inch and then i mark the one inch here and then using my curve driller again i'm going to connect it to the depth of my neckline so i'm connecting this to my neck depth using this curve driller and then i have this okay so all this upper part now is my yoke so once the yoke is drafted now the next thing now is to draft out our teardrop design so for this design now i'm just going to sketch this out you can use your cover i'm going to use my free hand to sketch this out so to sketch it out now i'm going to use my pet uh, my pencil to mirror what i have here or whatever design you don't have to use what you have here but with this is a requested tutorial so i just want to follow what i have here so you can do whatever it is that you want then i'm going to use my pencil to just sketch out that design that teardrop you see this teardrop like a this lacy part i want to use my free hand to sketch it out and then if i like what i have there i'm going to bold it with my with my marker so that we can all see it well so this is what i have now and then i think i'm okay with it i'm not starting it on my center front so what i did is just make sure i half an inch away from my center front and then from there i map this out so i'm fine with what i have then i'm going to go ahead now and make this bold with my marker okay so this is the first design that we have there and the next now is to draw, draw out the second design that is with the Ankara okay so this Ankara design that we have here is the next thing I'm going to draw out and to draw this house now I'll measure how wide I want it to be from my lace part so from where this lace stops which is here which is here I'm going to measure around three inches or three and a half inches that is how wide i want it to be then if i want it to be three and a half inches i have three and a half inches there and again using my you can actually use a curve for this you can just place your curve now and then try to maneuver your way around this but i just prefer to sketch it with my hand so from there now i'm going to sketch out the design that i want there also okay so i'm just sketching this out and then all the way back to my neckline okay so at the neckline area here you won't make it too wide because it's actually not too wide so this is what i have and then i think i'm okay with what i have so so that we can see this again i'm just going to go in with my marker and then just trace this out okay okay so this is the design that 
I have there now and this part now is going to be cut out with my Ankara so I can just shade that part out so that it's going to be obvious for us when we want to trace this out with our tracing wheel okay okay so that is the design that I have there you can see how simple it is to make this so now the next thing I'm going to do before I cut it now is to take this to my pattern paper to a fresh pattern paper and then I'm going to trace out exactly what I have here and then I'm going to add half, half, half an inch seam allowance around it because I'm going to be turning it out so I have my fresh paper here and then what I'm just going to do now is to place this on my fresh paper so you can see how easy it is to do all the manipulations we want to do here because we don't have any that's going through that side we don't have any that's interfering with our design assuming we choose to use a shoulder that and then the that is going all the way to this area it may be a bit difficult to do all these manipulations that we have done so now i'm going to draw this out now Okay, so this has been traced out now. The next thing now is to add your half an inch seam allowance around it or quarter of an inch or whatever it is that you sew with. So I'm just eyeballing this now and then I'm adding allowance around this. Okay, so after adding my allowance now, I'm going to cut it out. You can actually add this allowance when you're cutting it on your fabric. But I'm doing this because I don't want to forget. So I'm just adding up my allowance like this so you need this allowance because you can see that this is really tiny and by the time you sew it to turn it out if you don't have your allowance you won't have anything left so hard to your yoke so adding your allowance is actually very very important okay so the allowance is added now the next one is just for me to cut out this part okay so this is cut out now and this is what we have okay so i'm just going to set this aside now you can write ankara on it so that you know that you are cutting this out with your ankara fabric so this is the fabric that i'm working with i'm working with this ankara fabric and it actually has these two different patterns so you can actually cut your pattern out exactly like this but if you look closely at this design that we are working with we have a different kind of Ankara on the yoke, on this yoke part that is coming from the center front to the neckline and then we have it also on this bust area all the way to the shoulder so I want to do that so this red part I think I'm going to be using this this part that has the red for the lower part while I'm going to use this green and black part for the yoke here and then the upper part so to do this before i cut out my pattern i'm going to be connecting so i'm going to connect from this upper part all the way to my bust side area so to do this i'm going to open up one of my darts so that i can close my this is actually extra work but this is what i want so you can actually just cut this out directly now and join your bodies and add your yoke to it but i just want to add that effect to mine that is how i'm actually cutting it out so now i'm cutting that out now and then i'm closing my bust that so that i can add what i want to add to this so i'm going to close my bust that and then hold it down with a masking tape okay so now my dart is closed then the next thing now is to connect from this neckline here all the way to my dart line okay so i'm going to be using a different type of fabric for this and like i said this aspect is actually more important you can skip it now and just cut out your regular pattern but this is what i want so that's why i'm doing this so now i'm going to cut this out cutting this out and then I'm cutting it together with my yoke okay so after cutting this out now I'm going to cut this so I'm also going to cut out this that remember the that is going to go away so don't be confused so this is our first side front so I'm going to label this side front okay 
I'm going to label this center front and this other side to side front. So now on this side also, I'm going to close my dart and then I'm going to cut out this dart. So now you can see I'm trying to cut this on camera so that we don't get confused. So now I'm cutting out the other princess that in and then I have my center front. Then I'm going to cut off this dart now and then I'll close this dart also. Okay, so you can see I've closed this dart and then I'm going to also hold this with a masking tape after which I cut out this dart. Okay, so this is my second center front. My second side front, this is my center front and this is the first side front. So now the next thing I'm going to cut out now is my yoke. Remember, this part is going to be part of my side front. The only difference is that I want to replace it with a different type of fabric. I hope we get that. Okay, so it seems my camera was blocked. So this is my side front. This is my center front. This is my side second side front. But if you notice, you notice that this side front is shorter. That's because I want to do a different. I want to use a different Ankara for the upper part of this part. So now I'm going to cut out my yoke, which I'm going to be cutting with neck with net. Sorry. So. I'm cutting, I'm not going to be cutting this out, I'm just going to be placing the Ankara on it. So you can see just the yoke is what I'm cutting out. By the time I arrange this, we'll see it. So this is my yoke. I'm going to be labeling this part yoke. All of this is my yoke. And then I'll cut that with my with my lace fabric. So now I have my yoke, I have my center front, I have my side front. And these two also is actually my side front. But I just decided to replace this with a different type of fabric. Like I said, this is the fabric that I'm working with and it has two sides. So all this lower part, this, this and this, I'm going to be using this red part to actually cut it out. Or I can use this black part. And then for this upper part, that's the remaining part of my side front. And then this Ankara yoke that is going to be on my, on my yoke. I'm going to be using the other design to cut it out and then for my yoke i'm going to be using this net lace to cut out my yoke so i'm going to cut out all of this now and then bring it back to show us how we are going to join it i'm going to have to cut this out from my fabric and like i said i cut this the main body is using the flowered fabric you can see this is the scent the side front this is the center front the center front and the other side front okay so now using the other pattern of the ankara i've cut out the concluding part of this side front which is here and then i cut out the ankara yoke so for the ankara use i cut out two of these because i'm going to be using them to turn out each other so if you're using a if you're turning this with a lining this is exactly how you're going to be cutting your lining but for your lining you can just cut your after cutting it separately like this you can just gum your this part this part you can gum it back together so that you can cut it normally like you cut this side so that you can cut your lining and if you don't mind having these different patterns on your lining also you can call it cut it out exactly the same way so if you notice you notice that you will see that i added half an inch allowance to all of this because i'm going to be joining my yoke back to my bodies on the upper part here and then i'm joining this back to this also so i just added the necessary allowance i remember that i already added my allowance on this akara yoke part so i don't need allowance there and then this is my main yoke cut with my fabric with my net fabric so i also added allowance on the lower part Part of the yoke for joining so now to join this the first joining i'm going to do now is to join this to this then after joining this to this i'm going to join this to this also on the on the dart line area so after joining it together they will be once they are together like this i'm going to be joining this upper part to hit like this so that i can join my yoke I hope we get that okay and before i join the yoke also i'm going to be turning this out so i'm just going to take it one step at a time so that we don't get confused i'll go to the machine now and join this to this and then this to this okay so i've gone ahead to join them together now 
and you can see what I have. So now the next thing I is to bring this other one that to complete the side front and the center front of the other side. So I'm just removing it from my pin and then I'm going to place it here now. And then remember I had the allowance with it, so I'm just going to place it like this and then I'll sew it. Okay, so I'll sew it down and then I'll have my complete back like that. So the next one is for me to place my yoke on this and then I'm going to also sew my yoke. So I'll join this now. And but before I join my yoke, this part now you can see I've placed it against each other and then I'm going to notch it. I hope I left it on this lower part, this part to turn it out. So now I'm going to notch this, turn it out and then i'll high on it so before i add my yoke to it as you can see i've gone ahead to sew this and then i turned it out so you just need to iron it and after ironing it you're going to your pattern is going to assist you on how you're going to paste it so you can see so i'm just going to place this on my yoke now and then i'm going to sew it down like this so i remove the pins you can notch the places you're going to be placing this on then i'm going to sew it before i sew the yoke to the main bodies okay so now as you can see i've just i just pinned this down so that we can see what i was talking about so i pinned it down the next now is for me to go ahead now and sew it down to this so after sewing it down i'm going to sew this other part to this so you can see the design that i was aiming to get so this other print is what i use for the lower part the flowered print while this print is what i want to use as my yoke and then the upper part so like i said this is actually not compulsory you don't have to slash this if you don't want this you just cut it the same way we cut out this other side but i just want to have this effect on mine that's why i cut it like this so now i'll go ahead now and join everything together then you can add the back whatever back that you want to add to this to it so just bear in mind that when you're drafting your back the same shoulder measurement that you have here has to be what you're going to be using also for the back because you're going to join them together on the back seam so this i've been joined to this now as you can see and then the last part of this is to join my yoke to it after i have sewn it down on this side okay so now i've joined them together you can see my seam now i just sew it together so to assist you you just need to put your yoke on fold notch the center and then you put your main bodies also on fold and notch the center so you match the center together before you start to sew so now i'm going to sew it i'm going to notch it round now remember it's a curve so that i can relax well so we are going to be adding a lining to this you just sew your lining the main body together the same way and then you use your lining you place your lining on top of it like this so it's down so that you can use it to cover all these rough edges that we have there so now i'm just going to fix a back panel of my choice to this so that i can take it to the mannequin so that we'll see what this looks like so you can see the difference in the patterning we'll see it better when i place it on the mannequin okay so this is what our blouse is looking like you can see the teared up effects that we have there and then like i said i just love the different color combination that we have here. it makes it really stand out and beautiful this is our princess that lines and this is our yoke part i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye